Hello students, today we will discuss about the control strategy of wind turbine. So how we can control the wind turbine when it is in operation. So there are four controls. First control is called as a pitch control. Pitch control means the angle of uh, uh, pitch in, in blade we can control. The purpose of pitch control is to maintain the blade angle to achieve certain rotor speed. So if speed is less, so we can make a direction of angle of attack in the blade by using pitch control so that it will get the maximum speed. So we can see here by control of blade pitch angle is adjusted for high wind speed. So this is the wind turbine you can see here. So these are the blades. These are the blades. There is three blades. So these three blades are by rotation that will be controlled. Uh, is done by using pitch control so this is the tower but here we can see this blade will be can control by the angle of pitch suppose this angle is there theta so that theta can change by some mechanism behind of this there is some servo motor so by changing the position of servo motor the blade will be tilt so when build blade is tilt so it will particular some theta angle the speed will be very high so all three angles of the blades can be changed this is done by using pitch control the next control strategy we are using for wind turbine is called yaw control yaw control is very much useful for a horizontal type of wind turbine so we can see the yaw refers to the rotation of the entire wind turbine in the horizontal axis of wind turbine so this is the diagram of wind turbine here again three blades are connected so blades already uh, pitch angle is controlled by using previous method but now this the method the only tower the changing of this tower so by changing of tower from particular one direction is done by using again some mechanism by using servo motors so by changing of the servo motor positions the tower size will be changed whenever the maximum uh, air power is taken contain the speed so in that direction of the air we can fix the towers location so this is called the yaw control only tower is changed so here we can see that your control ensures constantly facing into wind to maximize the rotor area as a resultant power so it is it is very useful in the horizontal type of wind turbine the next control strategy we will discuss is control of power output so we know that in wind turbine there is an input power is mechanical power and output is electrical power so by changing the electrical power PE we can change the efficiency of the wind turbine as well as the speed of the wind turbine so we know that this is the relation between the at a steady state condition the mechanical power is always equal to the electrical power but dynamic condition the difference between mechanical power and electrical power is equal to j d omega by dt where o o omega is the speed angular velocity and j is the acceleration moment of inertia so by here we can say if p is pm is more than pe the this side is positive and it will be acceleration mode when pe is more than pm so it will be deacceleration side so we can see here we can control the uh, electrical power by from zero to maximum value so that we can get the desired speed and we can control the output power so we can vary the power electrical output uh, by changing the speed now next control strategy we are using is stopping braking methods so whenever the speed is very much high or load shedding case when p is equal to zero so we can see if p is zero the speed is suddenly very high acceleration mode and it can be dangerous for blades so speed is dangerously high so it must stop so that case we have to stop the wind turbine so by using some braking systems and most preferably we are using the mechanical brake systems so this is all about the control strategy of the wind turbine thank you